Γεια σας, this is the Greek Reporter Weekly News. Greece could get an 11-year period to repay bailout. The EU and IMF could extend the period in which Greece must repay its bailout loans for five years to make it easier for it to service its debt, according to Greek newspapers citing an IMF official. Greek, EU and IMF officials have repeatedly mentioned the possibility of extending the period in which Greece must repay its 110 billion euro bailout loans. However, the IMF official was more specific on how the repayment period could be stretched after Greece received its last installment in 2013. In the USA, Greek-American Michael Pihakis was busted by feds for a $5.8 million fraud scandal. Louis Michael Pihakis, an 80-year-old Greek-American living in Pensacola Beach, Florida, was charged by federal authorities in Arizona of stealing $5.8 million in financial scheme. Pihakis had promised to investors million-dollar payouts. He was also charged with conspiracy to commit wire fraud for his part in a scam that allowed him to receive $2.5 million. This is not the first time Pihakis has been arrested and charged. Between 1970 and 1993, he was convicted several times and served time in federal prison for mail fraud, wire fraud and conspiracy charges. He is obligated to wear an electronic monitor and surrender his passports. Pihakis is to appear before a federal judge on December 3rd in Phoenix, Arizona. Now some news from Hollywood. Thanos Petrelis, one of the most famous Greek pop singers, visited Los Angeles for a one-night-only live performance. The event took place at the Carson Center Ballroom on November 24th. This was the second time that Thanos Petrelis and his band visited Los Angeles. The Greek singer performed live all his latest hits from Greece and the party went on until Thanksgiving morning. And now some interesting news from the movie industry. Elena Harbila is a Greek actress who is cast in Wild Salom, a movie directed by film legend Al Pacino. Harbila was a part of the theatrical play Salom, where Pacino saw her and gave her a role in his new film, which is based on the play. The Canadian government is investing more than $1.6 million to help immigrant children and their families in London, Ontario. The Settlement Workers in School, also known as the SWIS program, provides immigrant families with an interactive orientation to the Ontario school system and referrals to settlement agencies and other community support services. Ed Holder, who is a Parliament member of For London West, said that this investment will help improve the lives of young newcomers to London. When we invest in our youth, we invest in the future of Canada, he added. Many people from all over the world immigrate to Canada for a better life as its economy depends on skilled immigrant labor. Canada, like a number of other immigrant destination nations, has a points-based immigration system. If enough points are gained, permanent resident visas can be earned. And now on to Australia. The Greek Deputy Minister of Education, Ms. Yenmada, sent a letter to her Australian counterpart, Peter Garrett, asking for closer cooperation on educational matters. The letter was within the framework of the promoted policy of the Ministry of Education for the support of Greek language. Ms. Yenimata expressed interest for the support of Greek language in Australia and its selection and integration among the 11 formal languages to be included in the National Educational Curriculum, which is currently under formation. This is also a request of the Greek community towards the Australian Authority for the ACARA program. Ms. Yenimata acknowledged the ongoing campaign by Greeks and Australians for the inclusion of Greek in the national curriculum. The campaign received over 30,000 signatures. And now some interesting news from Europe. After 164 days in space, Fyodor Yurchikin finally returned to Earth two weeks ago. He served as an ISS-24 flight engineer on the Soyuz TMA-19. The spacecraft landed near the town of Arkalik in northern Kazakhstan. The Soyuz spacecraft also included two Americans and a Russian from the International Space Station. The Russian space program's chief described the spacecraft's landing as ideal. Fyodor Yurchikin, whose real family name is Grammatikopoulos, is proud of his Greek descent. Fyodor, while talking to journalists, did not forget to send his greetings to his parents in Thessaloniki, relatives, friends and to Greeks around the world. Thank you for being with us. For more news and updates, go to GreekReporter.com. And remember, Greeks are everywhere.